Hello, it's Salimi. So today in the morning I start my car and have check engine light on and the hold warning light flashing. Since some of my subscribers got similar car I thought why not show it here. It might help some of you to save some cash. Whenever you see a check engine light on, it means we have a code and we have to read it with OBD scanner. So the OBD scanner located under the steering wheel. We're gonna connect it to our phone with OBD scanner app. The app I'm using called Torque. It's very simple to use. We're gonna go to gear icon, fault codes, and then show logged faults. And the code is PO335 and it's camshaft position sensor. So the camshaft sensor located here. We have to remove the spark plug cover, camshaft belt cover, and the filter box. So we're gonna need a ratchet and 10 millimeter socket. Let's undo these four 10 millimeter bolts. All right, the cover is off and here's the sensor. We can only remove the wire harness from here, but the sensor bolted underneath with two 10 millimeter bolts. Next, we need to undo this 12 millimeter bolt on this side and this 10 millimeter bolt on this side. Use a flat screwdriver to loosen the throttle body hose and then remove the hose. We just gonna put the filter box here for now. There are three 10 millimeter bolts holding the cover we need to remove first. And here's the last one located under the belt. I had to use long 10 millimeter socket for that. We just need to push it out and pull it up like that. And here is the camshaft sensor bolted with two 10 millimeter bolts. Let's remove the wire harness first and then the bolts. I had to use a small universal joint for that, otherwise it's hard to reach them. Let's pull the old sensor out. Here is the new sensor I got. I think it was under 10 bucks. Visually compare them. Alright, they are the same. Here is the right direction you need to install like that. Center the holes and then hand tight the bolts. Alright, new camshaft sensor on. Let's put the covers back. These next steps will be exactly the reverse how we remove the covers and the filter box. This car has almost 100,000 on it and it's my second time replacing this sensor. Let me know if you had that problem too. Alright, we are almost done. Let's put the wire harness back and then the spark plug cover. And the last thing we need to do, erase the code. Put the key on ignition. We're gonna clear the code on the app. Go to the gear icon, fault codes, clear logged faults. Alright, if we scan for a code again, there is no more faulty code. Let's remove the OBD scanner and start the engine. No more check engine light and no more flashing hold. Hope the video was helpful for those of you owning the same car. I will be installing the oil catch can for this car, stay tuned for that. So that's for this video, if the video was helpful and learned something new, like and subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in the next one. Bye for now.